<laughs> they try to fool us. I ain't even got my oh, live face man. on yet, man. They, you already got your live face on. They can see it. They see your live face. Let's do it, man. <laughs> he say he ain't got his live face on. Yeah. I've been fooled by that a few times where I thought it was about to go live. But we're live right this second. As soon as this shit ends, you're going to see us doing all of this right now. <laughs> <laughs> they petty. I know what they want to do. They want to catch you doing this. Just staring at the bitch. <laughs> Quiet, looking crazy. <laughs> well, hey, what's crazy. going? Whoever's on right now, what's going on? They ain't. They, <laughs> they can't see it. Oh, they that's can't? the thing. Okay. It's gonna record, but until it say live up here, the people can't pick up on it. What is this? Facebook Live. I've never seen it like that. Yeah, they switch it up on us. Now we in there. Everybody finna start mm. walking. Cheers! 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 Come on in here, get y'all a seat. We finna go in. Boy, I got a special guest today for y'all. It's gonna be so beautiful. Hermie, talk to the people. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hey, 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 hey. hey. You know, you know that I've been watching your show. You know what I'm saying? Watching you do your thing. And Look man, on me. <laughs> bro, I, I'm happy to be here now, so I can get up here and cut up with my boy. Hey, I'm so happy to have you here, man. Ooh. It's a few things in this world. I would never do Miss Brandy Lestar. Hello, Queen. Come on in here and get you a seat, Miss Kenyatta. Look, <laughs> Kenyatta. Oh, Lord, don't be you, like you know, that. You know, me and Kenyatta used to date. You used to date that young lady? <laughs> you ain't get no cookies? None. You ain't get no cookies? <laughs> None of it. Kenyatta, me. What's up, family? Mr. Evans. Come on in here, Mr. Harris. How you doing? Yeah, we got Mr. Brown in the house. Big dog Skip stepping to you. He going to keep it real with y'all today with me. Hey, Mr. Ant Davis. Another airman. He out here. Ant. Oh, airman. He in uh, Arkansas, though. Oh, Little Rock? I don't I don't, I don't. don't know. Yeah, he got to be in Little Rock. What, what, what base you at, bro? What base you at, Ant? Out there. Yeah, it's got to be Little Rock. Banging a Little well, Rock. Y'all y'all know better than I do. You know what I'm saying? We came to talk to the people. We're going to let some people come on in, get their fans. Don't worry about that. They see us, you know how it goes. Let's do it. Miss uh, Pink, right? No, nah, that's my boy, man. Thor? Who's Pink, that? That's my, my best friend. Your best no friend in here? That's my dog. You haven't met Pink Welcome. Before? You ain't never introduced me to Pink. He, he be at Tippers all the time. I swear. Yeah. He What's up, Mr. Bitch? Pink? It's all love. It's all love. I was, uh, I was sitting here getting ready to tell y'all exactly what we were talking about today. But I'm going to wait a second let everybody pile up in here. Don't pile up in no seats. Everybody's VIP. And the one thing I'm sure of is the drinks is cold. If you're rolling up, roll it up and get your lighters out. Flick them and make sure you're comfortable because the few things we're going to talk about today is either going to help you apply some things to life or it's going to hurt you. It's going to hurt you if you don't apply them because we ain't giving out nothing but gems today. Nothing but gems. Miss Kenyatta up here laughing. She, she laughing. Didn't she give laughing. up that bag of cookies. She laughing at me. I though. can't believe the audacity of the beautiful queens that hold tight <laughs> to them cookies, knowing they need a hand in that jar. Yo, yeah, we're going to toast to the kings and the queens out there that's about to pull up and get a whole lot of information. What's up, Mr. Will Martin? Miss Beautiful Caitlin, I see you. I see you. Welcome, 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 welcome. Everything's wonderful, wonderful in the, on the grind right now. We want to talk a little bit about how men communicate pain. Mm. Hello, Miss Kudo. Miss Kudo speaking to you. Skipper. Hey, hey, hey. Who am I on the island with, Kudo? Who am I, who am I on the island with? Yeah. <laughs> Skipper, she says. So uh, we're talking about how the men communicate and react to pain this time. We know women are much more, uh, I don't think they're much more direct than we are. I think you don't think so? I think we're more direct. I I think, I think that their intentions are more clear than we are, ours are. I will agree with you on that. You know I won't saying? argue with that at all. I won't argue with that at all. Mr. Esan, how you doing, sir? All the way out there in Georgia. Thank you for joining me. Miss Natasha Benbo, the queen of all queens. Come on in here and fix your crown, baby girl. That outfit you wearing this evening. Yes, those shoes are everything. 
I should have bought those. I seen them in the store and failed. You know what? I don't deserve you. I don't deserve <laughs> you. Kidding, so we're talking about how, basically, how men communicate pain. My big bro, Mr. Brown, that's what we call him. What you want to be called, fam? I call yeah. him Mr. Brown because yeah. I respect him. Y'all call me what y'all know me by. Skipper. There you go. They want to hear Skipper. I got Mr. Skipper on line, live in effect today. You know, the first thing I would like to get into, <laughs> first thing I'd like to get into is communication. Uh, the fact that it's so complex and on both ends, you know what I'm saying? On both ends. It's complex and things get out of line sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But we can all bring that back in. We can all bring that back in, will it in today. I want you women to talk to me about things that bother y'all about how men communicate our pain. Y'all know when y'all hurt us. You ain't gonna say nothing. Hey, Miss Lakeisha, bigger figure, I see you, North Side, bro. Derek Bradford in the building. They call him Pookie on the Memph, the North Memphis side of things. Hey, Miss Dasher. Hey, 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 hey. I got the queens and the kings in the building. So, How y'all doing? So check it, man. When we talk about communication is a complex process, right? When we talk about relationships, that's one of the biggest breakdowns of a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Outside of uh, if the finances ain't right, mm -hmm. communication is the next key thing that breaks relationships up. Now, mm -hmm. I, I admit that I am one of the worst people with communication. Worse? You know, yeah, I am. But I keep everything to myself for when some reason. When you say reason. worse, from what aspect? Is it in a relation, in a conveying relation, the message? Conveying the message. In a relationship standpoint, man, I always hold things tight. Mm. And I don't know. Compartmentalize? I don't, I don't know why I do. I think, I, I think that I do that so I don't have to argue about it later. It's not you. It's you know not you. Man? You don't it's think it's me? Yeah, okay. It's us. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to argue about it later. We you know? do that. Hey, what you about to do, man? I don't know. You know what? Um, it's not so much the argument for me when it comes to communication. And I'm going to tell you this. I love to talk, right? Mm -hmm. yep. I love to talk. I don't mind talking, but I don't like to scream, yell, and go back. Hell and no. Hell going, no. Going back and forth. You can say what you got to say to me. I can say whether I agree or not and tell you why. And then we get right to the compromise. That helps me. Right. Right. But it doesn't help me when I'm not listening, you're not listening, and nobody's gathering information to use it for good. You know what I'm saying? So so we get me and you got a lot of mutual friends because we both from here, right? Absolutely. So a lot of people think because of my Facebook page that I like to debate and argue all the time. I, I don't know do, why. I do that shit on Facebook. I think you just have fun on Facebook. Yeah, that's how I do that. Yeah. But when I'm, with, when I'm with my lady at the crib, I don't want to do that, man. You know, who wants to do that? You can't put your feet up like you know that. Like, and if no, you do, she's going to flip your chair. I want to do that, but when we talk about pain, right? Mm -hmm. we, pain is a process. Like, we've been taught since since we were little boys, mm -hmm. don't cry. Don't cry. You know what I mean? Don't cry. Man up. Should it. Stop being, quit, quit being a bitch. Don't be weak. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Hey, she break up with you. That's somebody else. Don't cry about that shit. It's more yeah. fish in the sea. So since we've been told that ever since we was little kids, how do you think that translates to when we become an adult? The same way. Uh, right. We build a we build a, a invisible wall around, this is how I feel, we build a wall around being weak in front of a woman, period. Because most of everything men do that like women, we do it for y'all. How we dress, how we speak, how we walk, everything. How we work out, be, everything. How we work out, everything revolves around being attractive to the woman's eye right how i'm wearing this motherfucking hat right now oh hello <laughs> <laughs> i did this for them yeah you ain't miss nothing <laughs> okay so uh they're saying the feed freeze on her end can y'all hear me out there everybody good i see y'all still in here so basically i feel like the communication wall that's built we're trained to compartmentalize. We're trained to say, you know, hey, toughen up, dust yourself off, get back in motion. We're never taught a healing process is important. Right. We're never taught, slow down a minute, 
Think about what you're about to say, then convey your message. Talk to somebody. That's not attractive. But what happens when, when that happens? Like that pain and stuff doesn't just go away it's because we train that way, right? Mm -hmm. That shit builds up. Mm. Right? You know what I'm saying? We train. That's a fact. Don't talk about it. Don't do that. Just move on. Stop thinking with your emotions. All it all that does is build up. All it does is build up. And now we just waiting to explode. And that's why we have a lot of mental health issues. I'ma tell you straight up, I'm glad you brought up mental health. Um Do you think it's it's been a fad lately that women talk about being crazy and you know I'm crazy. Uh like basically making it cool to be unstable mentally. Uh I, he know I fuck him up. Let me, have let you me, seen that on me, Facebook let, where let, the masses talk about it's cool to be crazy? Not too long ago. I don't want to dwell on that. No, I, I get you. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna hit it real quick. But go. There was a video of a woman running over a man because she cheated on her, her husband of 18 years or 16 years. Seen it. It was unbelievable. You know what I'm saying? How many women said, well, you sh he shouldn't have been fucking up. He, sh he shouldn't have did this. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if a, if a man even breathes on a woman. Throw a he, napkin he, at her. She, she ain't deserve that. Just put, leave. Put him under the jail. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, so when I see that, you, so yeah, you're right. You know what I mean? There, there's, I think it's just, we look at it from the perspective of gender that we're in. You know what I mean? So for a woman to see that, they's like, they understand what it means to be cheated on that many times mm -hmm. and still stay and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. All the stuff that they felt like they sacrificed for that relationship. And you want to leave? This is some waiting to exhale type shit. I'm running you over and trying to kill Blow you. Blow your damn car and house up. Hello. But, you know, you know, as a man, you know, we... Mr. Harris say we, we very indirect. Absolutely. Mike, man, hey, hey, very, very hey, and we're going to get to that in a minute because we are very indirect with how we I think we're very direct, though. I, I disagree with both of y'all. Let, let me tell you. Tell why, me why y'all say indirect. So when I'm hurt, right, mm -hmm. this is what I mean by indirect. When I'm hurt, I don't ever talk about what hurt me. Mm. Instead, I'm trying to hurt your ass right back. You know, so I'm indirect. Yeah, right. I'm indirectly. How you do that? Like a curveball. So you, so you. Quit talking to her. That's a warning sign. I don't quit talking, man. I, I'm doing whatever I can to hurt oh, your you feelings being back. Yeah. You being mean verbally. I'm trying to hurt your feelings back. You know, I... To me, that's direct. No, because I, I, I never directly... But you never addressed directly, the bottom line. I never directly... That is indirect. Yeah, I never directly addressed why I'm hurt. That you know is indirect. Yeah. So indirectly, I, I attacked it. Mr. Pink say the boiling point. Mm, I don't get to my boiling point easy. How about you? You got nah, a short fuse? No, no, not at all. I don't have a not short at fuse. All. I've been through so much, I can't have a. I can't afford to have a short fuse. Miss Laura May, Miss Laura May say some men have built up anger and hurt. We all got feelings. Yeah, things build up, but the issue I'm having is that some people don't recognize. When I say people, I mean both sides of the thing. No gender specific thing. People don't recognize that sometimes it's easier to say, let's talk and not be offended by let's talk. Communication right. is dead on both sides. Right. Like he said, he reacts. Like Skip said, he reacts indirectly. That's not helping. Hell We've no. agreed to that. You know what I'm saying? The woman seeing a man in pain, knowing he in pain by not addressing, hey, I know something's wrong, baby. Let's stop what we're doing right now. Let's let's get to what's wrong. But it doesn't help for us to shut down either. No. You know, I know for a fact I close off like lock and post down. I don't want to talk about shit till I'm ready to talk about it. That's indirect too, bro. You know what I'm saying? It is. However, I do it because I know I feel like I see 10 steps ahead with the person I'm dealing with. Yeah. Right? The first thing I notice is her demeanor, right? Mm-hmm. If she's saying, what the hell wrong with you? But she already feel like she got her mind made about right. what I'm going to say. I don't want to talk. The second thing is, uh, if she waited days to say, all right, so what the hell going on? What's what? And you knew something was wrong Friday and it's Sunday. I feel like you don't care, so I don't want to talk. True indeed. It's so many reasons why I shut down, but it doesn't make it healthy. I'm here to tell you ladies, 
it's not healthy for us to shut down and kill communication just because we feel in some type of way. Fellas, I'm here to tell you, it's not healthy to tell whoever you're dealing with, whether it's a family member or, or somebody you're in a relationship with. It's not healthy to shut down communication because you feel so. So why do you think you do that? I know why I do it. Because I'm an overthinker, one. And by overthinker, I mean I like to analyze damn near every angle that you could possibly take. And then I want to have something to counter it. Okay. Or meet it with a compromise. Be ready to compromise with whatever you bring to the table. I don't like to be surprised, basically. You know what I'm saying? And that is to a fault because People surprise me all the time with how they mm -hmm. think. Sometimes it's not even an issue and I made it one in my head. Right. Hell yeah. Like women. Yeah. Women do it. I think women do it more than us. They make up the whole story. They got it figured out and then they say, I already know what the fuck going on. So <laughs> so I got I got a confession, man. Talk to me. I, in that aspect, then I'm just like a woman, man. Because in my mind, mm -hmm. I got it all mapped out why everything's happened. Mm -hmm. And why you think that way. And I know that. I know that's a weakness of mine that I got to break because when you do that, man, it's hard to have communication when you already got your mindset up. And that's why it's a complex process, man, because if my mind is already made up of why you think the way you think. Where is the compromise coming in at? I'm not ready to receive the information. You you already reached the conclusion. I got the yeah, shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't... So, Mr. Evans, Mr. Evans says when it comes to communication, if I feel like the woman is only listening to respond he shuts down. There's nothing left to say if she isn't going to listen to understand my point of view. He out of there. I feel you, Mr. Evans, but you didn't help the situation. You did the same thing I said I did. I shut off communication, which means there is no solution. Effective communication is key is what Ms. Laura May says. Mr. Harris say, I am bipolar as hell. Kiss you one minute, cuss you out the next. Plus, he petty as hell. So, so Mike, man, let me ask you a question, man. So, how do you advise a woman to deal with a dude like your ass? You know what I'm saying? You don't. You like, like, like yeah, like you, like if a one, you the kind of guy that a buy a birthday cake for a woman, decorate it real nice, put candles on it, sing happy birthday, <laughs> and smack that shit out of her hand when she before she take the first bite. My goodness. Now, how do you advise a woman to deal with you, bro? The first thing we know is he can't give no advice if that's how he thinking about it. <laughs> Mike, don't be petty, bro. If you want the type of love that loves you back, everything you just said, first of all, let me say that remember when we said diagnosing yourself, bipolar, crazy, all of that, you're speaking those things into existence. First, we got to change how your mind is conditioned. You're not crazy. You're not bipolar. I have known you over 20 years. You are very sane. You understand what effective communication is. You also understand Preach to him. what it is Let him know. you want in a woman, which means you got to give 10 times that back to that woman. So since I know that you know mm. that, Let him know. everything you said negates what you want sound in like, the future. Sound like some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It's all bullshit. He don't want that, but it's funny though. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to laugh at the comment, but I know Mike. Mike is a, he a big step. He a working, hard working ass man with kids that he took care of. You know what I'm saying? This ain't no slouch. Right. Mike is down there in Florida getting busy, but he wants the love of his life. But talking like that, fam, we got to remove that language. Never downplay yourself. Miss Letitia Centrell, the queen. Hey, baby girl, I'm not skipping over you. She said she stayed until she couldn't take anymore. And the biggest revenge was leaving. That is fact. My goodness. Bro, you know how many times, like, when I tell people... Big step. Like, when I tell people when they're having uh, relationship issues... That hurt me. I feel like she just left me. This... I don't know her. Do I know her? <laughs> you know, Letitia. I'll but, show you. But the thing is, is like, when women don't understand is they do have a lot of power. The minute that you put a, a, a dude on ghost, mm. ghost status... Hurt. That's when shit starts turning around. Hurt. We start begging. Right. Playing Jodeci songs. You know what I'm saying? Saying I'm sorry. Now, now, oh, I, she really might leave me this time. Mm. Let me try to pull out all my old Wait tricks and get her back. She packed all her shit this time. Why her mama coming to help? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, here's another thing. I'm going to get to these next two comments, and then I'm going to get to my next point in transition. 
Uh, Mr. Pig said, like you said, we can't out talk each other. Absolutely, Man. talking at the same time will never be effective. Man, that's how that's how men, that's how men shut down man that's how we shut down when they want to talk over us right. and get their point out nobody's listening everybody's talking i get it uh you said you feel like 10 steps ahead until they throw that haymaker trigger to a person well you know what i always say if somebody got buttons the person they love put them there people change you know how they say different people bring different things out of you right I always say if you got buttons in a relationship, the person you love, put them there simply because they've tried you in that area mm. and you've forgiven that many times. Right. So now it becomes a trigger. But if you think about your last ex, it was never an issue. Never. Yeah. So now that you're with this new person, that button, they sold it on. Hmm. And I think it's a control factor, actually. Yeah, they Such know what button, button to push. They yeah. know what button to push because they put it there. If my girl got a complex about her weight in my relationship, guess who wasn't uplifting her enough? Guess who hasn't been working out with her if she is that self-conscious? Right. Guess who hasn't been kissing them scars on her stomach enough? Guess who is slipping in the relationship if she still has a complex you uplift them, man. after a few years? And yeah. So you put them buttons there and you left them there. I won't leave a button there. Some things do come with just you. Right. Some things you do have to work on for you. But if I'm with you, if I took you, it's like taking a house. We all good. It's like taking a house. I done pat you done passed the inspection. You bought the house. Right. As is. Let's do it. Fixing it up is on who? It's on you. Maintaining it is on well, who? Well, it's on us. You know what I mean? Like us. As and it goes right? back to communication is a complex process, right? Hello. You know what I'm saying? So if there's certain things that's upsetting you about you. Like, say, all right, if I'm with somebody, you know what I'm saying, that's bigger than they want to be. Mm -hmm. But I chose to be with that person. I already know what size they are. Mm -hmm. I'll agree with you. I, I'll agree with you to the point to where, okay, if you're too big for your own liking, we can fix it. To me, you're beautiful and I love you. You know what I mean? Hey, but facts. if you want to fix something, let's do it together. You know what I mean? I got you. I don't say do everything together, but cause some, I do feel like some things are just for you. You know what I'm saying? Some things you cannot fix for a person, but you can put a cushion up on them. Right. Them, right? So I do agree with 99% of what you just said, except the fact that some things we need to leave alone. Okay. So when I, I, I and that tra helps me transition into the next segment. When I say leave some things alone, ladies, when you, your man or if I'm your man, let me speak for me. If I'm your man and I'm in complete shambles mm. about my job, about a, a homeboy, and I don't readily tell you, hey, listen, man, I'm, I'm fucked up about this. Right. This is tearing me apart. My brother betrayed me. If I don't just come to you telling you that, please. Give him some time. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. That's trust, not just him. Trust me with the information. Right. That's not just you, bro. I feel So that's you. not just me? Fuck no. Give me a minute. The nagging. That's where we get the word nagging in a relationship from. Because now it turned to be, be about you. It does you make know what it I'm saying? about them. Now it's about you because you don't feel, you don't feel like you're included. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And the yeah. thing is, I'm trying to process everything in my mind and going through my own problem. I'm just like that. Just give me a minute. I promise you I'm not trying to keep nothing from you. It hurt me. It troubled me. But we don't process everything like a supercomputer. No. Some things we thinking about making a bad decision. Is it worth it? Am I going to jeopardize my baby? Am I going to put her in the middle of this shit? How do I keep her from this? The people that you trying to protect is in the front of my mind. And then the decision I need to make. It's still in the middle of my mind because there's so many things I got to weigh. But you want to know what happened right now. Baby, I can tell you what happened, but it's going to lead to more questions. Right. Because I have not figured out <laughs> how I'm going to handle. Was that? It's like shock. It's right. like shock. I can't actively respond to this yet because I'm frozen. 
But you trying to thaw me out in the microwave and put me in the oven. They want, they want instant gratification, <laughs> man. And I'm trying to think about what the fuck just happened. That's how we react, baby girls out there, all the queens. Listen, when we not talking to you, don't get upset. Give me a minute. We go to our toy box. We pull out our toys. And we just think for a minute. You might have said, I told you to do this Tuesday. And, and Wednesday, I brought it up again. And here come Friday. We come with every solution you brought up right? all week long. Everything is taken care of because you picked a good man. He just don't speak to you every time you want to talk. And, and, and because when you do that, right, when, you, when, when your man is thinking about, okay, I'm dealing with this issue, and now you're on him, nagging, 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 right? It turns into being, a, like I said before, it turns into being about you. And now we about to have an issue with you. And Ooh. then we talk about when we're broken, our defense mechanisms kick in. Mm. And so now I'm not even thinking about, you know what I'm saying, what I had an issue with. Now I'm thinking about how I'm going to fend you off. And now I got a problem with you. And now me and you are arguing. You become the problem. Let and me you was never the problem. Let me, see, thank, let me say thank you to all the people that just stepped in here. This is Ray Nail, Samantha. How you doing, Miss Brandy? What's happening? Come on in. Get you a seat. Get comfortable. We talking about how men communicate pain. How you can help us when we're trying to communicate, dealing with some pain. So, Jermaine, let me ask you, you a question. You got some questions? I'm going to let uh, Skipper ask me a question. But if y'all got some questions, put them in the comments. Let me read Mr. Evans. He's been Go sitting there too long. Go ahead. And you please hold do, that thought. Do your thing. Uh, Mr. Evans said, I am too a deep thinker. If I'm having a rough day, sometimes I just want time and space to process. Preach. It's not that we won't talk. Just not immediately. I just need that time to think things completely through. Ladies, do you hear that? He what we just said. It's exactly what we said. He's not demanding anything from you except be there for me. You, ladies, you say this to us often. I don't need you to fix My me. My problem, yeah. I just need you to be here. I want you to just lay here, be in my company. Mr. Pink said maybe that button was missing from before, but you never fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> That's dope. I love it. Look at him dropping knowledge. <laughs> clue. Where, the clue, where the clue bombs at? Knowledge bombs. <laughs> Mr. Harris said, I know looking at them Instagram models will kill your whole outlook on what a real woman is. Not Won't mine. Come mine. Not mine. Hey, they fun to look at. Boys. Just they, like just like a Ferrari and Maserati. I can't. They're not realistic right now at this point. At this point, in this day yeah. and age, yeah. And even if I had it like that, I don't want nobody. All right. I don't body shame. If a woman wants to go get the surgery and all that stuff, cool. This shit. You're yeah. going you gonna to look good. But we don't need it. But give me, give me the, give me the bumps and give me the, give me the biscuits. Give me the stretch mark. You know what I'm saying? Give the me the, I'm good. I'm good with that. Give me the natural. You had three kids. Give me the body with that had them three kids. And you know what makes that sexy? Is when she feel like she's sexy. Because that's my job to make you know her feel saying? sexy. Though. If she feel like she's sexy already, oh, we, 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 we rocking and rolling. Have you guys shaming girls for pulling them pants up over their stomach? The, the, the leggings or whatever you, over their stomach? You call them guys? Have you seen the guys that body shame the women Look, for pulling it? Any any guy that body shame a woman is not a guy to me. Yeah, okay. You I know what I'm saying? I feel I, that. Yeah, I've seen feel guys that. I've seen guys body shame because a woman got stretch marks. Which is I, I terrible. Think, I think Cat Williams has said it. Better. I'm mad at him. You know what I'm saying? Like shit. I don't see you. Yeah. Yo, if a woman I don't give a damn if if you know what I'm saying she's three hundred and eighty pounds. If she's come now for your own health reasons. We at we good. Yeah, it's yeah. Like they getting interrupted. Y'all getting interrupted out there? My phone's straight. Oh, yeah, we my phone's straight. Why y'all getting interrupted? I want y'all to see this. Well, yeah, I want y'all to see this. Yeah, I need I need Brandy to see this. You interrupted? He good? Oh, you know that. <laughs> so Miss Brandy, Miss Brandy, here's what we're gonna do. You log out, log back in for us, baby. Log back out and log back in. It's getting broadcasted. It's getting broadcasted. The thing is, uh, Facebook hating right now. <laughs> they hating right now. Uh, we're going to go back into what we was talking about. Right. Got so, the body shame. 
Guys that body shame and not guys at all is what we agreed to. Yeah, I mean, if if there's something that you don't like, you don't like, right? Absolutely, a preference but, is a preference. But, but you don't have to go in on a woman because she's not what you don't like. You know what I mean? If if she's... Randy was replying to you. She said she's not about to get no surgery. I'm about... I'm, she said she is about to get a surgery. What? You about to get the surgery and model for the show? What show? Brandy, At Deja Vu? Nail surgery. I ain't seen Brandy in years. Brandy, pull up. Pull up right now. I Skip Brandy ain't seen you. I ain't seen her in maybe 10, pull 15 up. years. Pull up, Brandy. Think. Brandy, can you pull up? But check it. Yes, we are. Okay. Brandy, can you pull up? Okay, but, so anyway. So we, we talk about body shaming, but. I'm going to talk about some of the things that may cause pretty much some of the uh, pain. You know what I'm saying? Some of the pain that we experience. It may come from environmental situations that we grew up in, which I don't even think a lot of women engage in asking you what you've been through growing up. Right. I think I talked about this on another uh, show that we had where I don't think people date long enough to get to know the person these days. They just find, then they fucking, then they together. Me and you had those problems. I, I used to. I used to. <laughs> no, no real shit. I used to. Look, now, I done talked myself out of coochie because I talked so long. Yeah? Look, because everything with the cell phones and, you know, you got all these dating app, apps and stuff like that. Now we're at an age. Technology. Yeah, and then we're also at an age where people are looking to get locked down and get married quick you, you think it's the time clock hell yeah we went I'm, I'm, i don't I just, feel the time clock because i'm living my best life uh grinding like i'm so focused on yeah but the woman that you're talking to ain't she's like she i'm trying not. to be married how you do how you doing miss garrett welcome baby girl so she trying to get married they're raised to get married we're not we ain't raised on wedding and wedding dressing you know what i'm saying we just out getting women Dating and, the and, here, and like. here lies the problem. Exactly. It is a problem. And here but lies the problem. Are men ever raised to get married? Women talk about marriage, wedding ring. Uh, That's a good ass think, point. Nobody ever talked to me about marriage and wedding rings. Nobody all that in shit. my entire life told me when you uh, grow up, get established, the first thing you need to do is find you a wife. They don't groom us and, and for that, marriage. And that's the best advice somebody can give you. They don't groom us for marriage. You know what I mean? Because when you think about what a... I know we're going a little off topic, but when we talk about what a wife really should be, mm. that is the best thing that can happen to a man because what a wife... I, somebody posted something about, hey, what is your ideal definition of a, of a, a, a wife? Mm. And it, it really ain't about who's the finest and all Never that shit. Never been. If you look at people's wives, when you, when you, it's you, not the my G models. When, when Do you, they marry them? At this at this age, but the thing is, when you're younger, man, you're looking for whoever got the fattest ass. Fine. You know what I'm saying? Just whoever fine. fine. Whatever but your now, is. but now after you done, after you done been through it, right? Mm -hmm. You're looking for man, who can make me the better man? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Who can who can put And that's where it starts. We knew that, but it wasn't important. Shit, I ain't no shit. Man. I knew that. I ain't know nothing. My pops actually sat me down and told me what a good woman was and treated my mom as such. So I had that privilege. I ain't had that. Which is why a lot of dudes called me soft over the years. Bro, why you being so nice? She a hoe. And I'm like, what you see in her is not what me and her talk about. Right. You've experienced a side of her that maybe she did commit some ind indiscretions behind the scenes with you and whoever, you know, but when I met her, I never had a problem. You know that saying, you can't make a whole housewife. housewife yeah. That's the biggest fucking lie in the world. You, you know why? Why, why do you think that is? Why do you think that? So, do you believe it? First no, of first of all, no, I don't believe it. This, you don't believe it. Here's, my, here's my only thing. Here's my, here's my, here's my only housewife. thing. Why? My only thing is this. We all have past, right? My my, yeah. my only thing is I don't want my past your past to include a whole bunch of motherfuckers that I know. Yeah, you know, I don't want that. You know what I mean? But we all have a past. I don't believe that that whole saying you can't make a whole housewife. That means that I'm never able to change as well. 
Because I used to do all kind of bullshit. Here's where I disagree with uh, you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. You you in the military. Right. I've been in the military. Long time. We move somewhere and meet a girl we don't know nothing about yep. in her hometown. We love them, cherish them, marry them, bring them back here. What do Clarksville know about the girl I brought from Cali? Not a damn thing. You can make a hoe. A yeah, hoe hey, and I'm good with that. That's what I'm talking about. But if I can't. I said it's the biggest lie because it's isolated to your city. Right, Cause, but if I'm, if I'm with somebody and all of the north side here. I want to marry a, a girl that didn't experience. You, you want to marry a hoe? hoe? But I don't call her a hoe. I say she know what the fuck she doing <laughs> right. in that bedroom. Yeah, as long as long as she's one hundred with me, right? Hello. Yeah. Hello. But my all my homeboys, you know what I'm saying? My top ten friends could not have hit. Cause now I, ain't, I don't know if I can deal with it like that. I don't know if I'd be able to. We'll have to move to Fiji somewhere. Yeah, we gotta get the <laughs> fuck on, man. We Go. gotta get out of here. Uh, so it say depends on the relationship, but as long as she loves her, to, long as she long as she loves, loves her to death. Okay, so Mr. Mike Harris say, I am more closer to walking on the moon than getting married. Jeez. Boy, you keep speaking like that. That's exactly where you're going to be at. I need you to speak <laughs> life into your situation, fam. Right, I love that. Big fan, who can make me better? Let's build together. Absolutely. Right. Miss Gre- Garrett said, right, because she was comfortable with you, so she was able to open up. Absolutely. Miss Brandy say you can make a housewife a hold up. You damn right. And everybody damn else. Right. <laughs> you can start off with ho just in a different area, Cole. Yo, yo, no. She's like if you got a housewife and somebody's down for you, right? Mm-hmm. A woman that is down for you and you treat her like shit, like nobody else is checking for her, is you crazy? Yeah. Because you ain't mad for a woman. Men, for a woman, you ain't even got to look like much. Men give up so many opportunities to be good to good women. It's ridiculous because they fall to peer pressure. And let me tell you where the pain of us come in at with that. We have been so sold a lie in the streets that the right. streets love us. <laughs> so we'll rather hang out with us than be at the crib with our old lady building. Right. right, streets told us go be a hustler. Even some women, beautiful women, I love me a hustler. Right, I love me a get there's, money. There's ass all movie. kind of songs about that shit. So many songs feed it to us that, hey, go be a hustler. Don't chill with your woman. Don't you know that's lame shit. Right, and we killing relationships. We going back in the house. We arguing because guess what? We've been out there with with the fellas all day, hoes. Check, <laughs> but check though. At this man, you know hoes. what? That shit is young, young nigga shit. No, it ain't. You, I see forty year old dudes out still doing. But what I'm telling you, man, is when you get older and you, you when you have your your sights clear, you know that your biggest teammate, your mm. strongest teammate, your biggest advocate has to be your woman. We talking about Miss Miss Welcome Miss McKinney, first of all. How men communicate pain. Right now we searching through how hoes <laughs> Let's can just be talk about hoes. A housewife. And Miss Brandy said, but you can turn a housewife into a hoe. It ain't gotta be that hard. All right. Uh so hello, Miss Sanchez. Checking the fuck in, she say. I see. Welcome, baby girl. We see you. Come on in, queen. I like them red bottoms. You strut those so well. That light, bright, and damn near white girl going to be a queen the rest of her life. <laughs> Get you something to drink, baby girl, and relax. We're talking about how men communicate pain. So the pain I was telling you about from a, a aspect of men hanging out with their guys over their girl right. is that we take the peer pressure of the streets and bring it back home. Now, we arguing with a good woman. Let's say it's a good woman. We arguing and running off a good woman from the peer pressure, peer pressure of hoes that ain't ready for a relationship and dudes that ain't even trying to look for a relationship. We getting the influence from all the people that ain't tied to 
what you're actually into. That's why they say married people shouldn't hang out with single people. I don't believe that because I'm a positive force. Right. But then it also tells you that you also yourself, because you got to take responsibility it's for self yourself. It's self-accountability involved. You also, you yourself don't know what you want in life. You Hello. know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? If you're if you're allowing that, Mr. You, S. Dot McGriff, I yeah. never not greet you, sir. How you doing, OG? Go ahead, yeah. brother. Like if you if you're doing that, it's like, man, if you allowing other outside influence, man, I'm not ever going to say don't hang but hang out with your boys unless they bring nothing but negative 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 energy to what you're trying to do, right? Hello. But you can still hang out with your boys and pursue what you need to do. But your homeboy is not your homeboy if he don't want you good at home. Man, he ain't my homeboy. Exactly. But some of y'all need to realize homeboy don't mean move him in. Yeah. That means keep him out your business, too. Your homegirls as well. <laughs> oh, they ain't gonna yeah. do that. <laughs> miserable, miserable motherfuckers want you to be miserable right with them. Yes. Hello, hello. So, I'm gonna get to when we're broken and our defense mechanisms kick in. <laughs> what are some of the defensive mechanisms that some of you guys have experienced out there. I'm going to go ahead and start. I'll tell you what kicks in for me. Like I said earlier, I shut down. I shut down when I'm angry. When I'm uh when 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 a challenge has arisen that I don't feel like me and my girl can take care of. It's just me. So she has to suffer because I shut down. Uh just Another thing, another defensive uh, thing is something I call weak aggression. I call it weak aggression because we take things out on our woman that she had nothing to do with. Right. Nothing to do with. I call it weak aggression. That's something a weak man would do to a woman is not address the actual problem but absolutely go off on the woman knowing something in the streets happened or something across town happened or something at work happened and you taking it out on the one that you were supposed to love and take care of. Weak aggression. Disconnection is my weakness. I've had my ex tell me, why are you fucking me like this? And it turned me on in the moment. But what? after we got done, so-called making love she was like you weren't here your mind wasn't here what was going on i wasn't there i was mentally angry but i was performing but i was disconnected and that hurt her you know what i'm saying okay that hurt her and i didn't even acknowledge it i should have at least apologized listen something is going on let me address that and you don't deserve that. I'll never treat your body like that again. Why you think you didn't? I, why I did it and why I think I did it now, two different situations. Okay, speak on it. Why I did it in the beginning was because I felt like I had it under control. Okay. I felt like I was doing the right thing. I was compartmentalizing, not bringing home an argument. We had a good day, right? I ain't finna ruin her day with shit that I got going on at the post office. But it then she wanted to have sex and I had a little liquor in me. It all came back. <laughs> yeah. It all came back. Now I'm aggressive. I'm angry. And I'm handling her, but I'm mishandling her. Not realizing she notices. You know what I'm saying? She's like, wait a minute. Like, I like the... When you do that thing, I like when you do that thing. But today, <laughs> <laughs> today, today is yeah. not it's not matching today, right. <laughs> that's not my thing, and you know you out of line. Right now. <laughs> and I'm gonna keep it thunder with you. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep it thunder with you. I felt bad. You know what I'm saying? I felt bad because the first thing I never want to do is mishandle my woman. I never want to mishandle my woman because I've spent so much time in the beginning promising her that I won't mishandle her like her last. Yeah. When you reach that point, you like, I'm about to be the next ex. Hmm. So, all right. So Derek say, just give me some meow and ham sandwich. And I can <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need, man. <laughs> Damn, a I ham hate, sandwich. I hate him. All right. So miss, 
Miss Celeste say, nope. I might even beat him to it. <laughs> I might even tell him myself, beautiful shit. Be respected. I'm very comfortable with it. She was responding to Mr. Evans' topic. Uh, Mr. Pink say, misery loves company. We all know that. Uh, Miss <laughs> Brandy say, Derek, I'm too grown. You gonna get completely <laughs> completely fed. Uh, fed, bro. Fucked with a grown ass woman. Shit. You better get some fried bologna sandwiches. Let them know, Brandy. <laughs> Just Talk a ham sandwich. Him, Talk to him, Brandy. Mr. Harris say, my married friends are <laughs> are there. Oh, your married friends are very bad influences. The first thing they holler and where are those? That's Get some you, unhappy motherfuckers. Those are not married friends. <laughs> those are not committed friends. Let me correct you, sir. You need committed married friends if you're going to be around people. Always surround yourself with people that are where you're trying to go. But they're handling their business. You know, if I want to be the boss, I'm hanging with the bosses. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Pink says somebody just walking out and staying at someone else's house for the night. Is very defensive. Hello, that's terrible. I, I, I was, I walked out. I used to walk out. I used to think it was healthy, but you know what it created? What it do? A habit of her making her think I can leave easy. Man. She said you always pick up and just walk out. Why is it so easy for you to leave me? I get told that a lot. Still now, yeah, I get told Fix that, that, bro. I lost a it, good woman over that. It's, it's it's hard though, man, because that's one of my biggest defense mechanisms. Like, yo, you cross me or say something that hurt me real bad, mm -hmm. I cut you off real quick and move on. You know what I mean? And do you treat your lady like everybody else though? That should be a different box. No, I don't. You know what I mean? Cutting people off is. Perfect. You know no, no, what I mean? No. I'm not, and I ain't judging. Right. Cause I, I, you sound a little judgy when I'm playing with you. Uh, maybe Jake, my tone is Jake. wrong. I apologize. No, my Jake, tone but, is dead but, wrong. But Jake, like, I'm guilty of everything you're saying. I have an issue with that, man. Because, again, it's, it goes back to when you talk about weak. What did you say? Weak, um, weak aggression. Weak aggression. It goes back to that. Instead of addressing what hurt me and what bothered me, right? Mm-hmm. Instead of doing that, because you're right, you know what I'm saying? You can lose somebody very good for you, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Just because somebody hurt your little punk-ass feelings for a little bit. Man. And, and her, you don't want to deal with it. And you don't want bad, too. Yeah. You don't want to deal with it. So, uh, instead, I, I just cut all this shit off. I found I you. I it's find easier one. to walk away, but it doesn't fix. No, it don't. It doesn't fix the future you're trying to have. Fuck it no. doesn't complement the future you're trying to have, right? Because you you thinking everything supposed to be perfect around your circumstance. Bro, that's the most selfish shit I could have ever did is continue to walk out. All I did was create a habit and a pattern for her to write down in her little journal. He will walk out on me. Right. So now how can she trust me? What if I got to the point to where I want to get out on one knee and ask her to marry me? She has the right to say, no, you're just going to walk out on me. Mm -hmm. You ain't even going to show up to the altar. If I piss you off the night before. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, you just gonna walk out on And me. how does she know? Because you already showed her that. I showed her that and I gave her a pattern. Humans are creatures of habit to me anyway. So if I've created a habit of walking out, I shouldn't expect her. But I'm pained and I'm selfish and I'm mad and I'm in my own feelings. So I walk out thinking we didn't argue though. <laughs> hey, so it goes to something that I always say is they ask, who's more emotional, men or women? Who do you think? I really feel like when people ask me that question, you know what I always say? Me. <laughs> I can't speak for every man. I always say if I'm dealing with a woman, I'm more emotional than her. One, because I, if I commit to you, I've put everything into it. I can only guarantee how much I put into it. Now, you can show me some things as a woman. Right. And I can say, oh, baby, love me. But I don't know if she's giving 100 or not. I, I don't know. She knows. Only she knows if she's giving 100. 
True. I can absolutely approve of the effort she's given, but I can't say that's her hundred. But I can tell you what I, I'm responsible for my actions. So Che, and I love that response. You know what I mean? Because when we talking, I also hate to talk in absolutes, right? Mm -hmm. But you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm gonna go on a limb. <laughs> I'm gonna go on a limb and say men, men do. And you know why? Men are more emotional. Man, hell yeah. Because we egotistical and prideful. Damn, boy, you like you read my fucking mind. And prideful. You know what I'm saying? We know that. Yeah. But the men over here probably don't agree. How you doing, Chunky? Miss Hines. How you doing? Okay, let me go to the little comment. Uh, Miss Brandy say, because when you have sex, you are exchanging energy. She, she felt all your pain, and it goes both ways. Y'all can feel ours as well. You know what? That might be a fact, but I'm going to tell you right now. I was missionary. She would look at me on my eyes and understood I wasn't there. Yeah. It didn't take energy for her to understand I wasn't there. Miss Brandy said, yeah, don't lay up with me if you got stuff going on and your mind is clouded. Let's talk. Take time for you to process it, and let's chill out. We can try again another day. I love that response. I love I that love response. I love that, Brandy. Brandy, you gonna be somebody queen, boy. Yeah, my Brandy like twelve year old dude though, man. She like a little young year cat. Old dude, <laughs> young. Brandy like a little young I cat. Ain't nothing wrong with young if she can mold them. You think so? I think you can mold them. You can mold him if he's willing. <laughs> I'm just messing with it's you, Brandy. Brandy, I am just there. messing with you. No, we ain't. Damn that. <laughs> you like him <them> young. Miss <laughs> Brandy say you pick up. And walk out, shit, five minutes later, I'm walking out right behind you. Maybe we'll pull back up to the house at the same time. <laughs> Brandy going to match energy out here, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. She going to match energy out here. And I ain't mad at that. But see, when I said walk out, let me be clear. Every time I walked out, I was right on the front porch where she could see me. Right. Not I walk. Right over yeah, not I walk all the way out. No. I didn't walk out and go to a bar and my location is unknown. Time on account mm. for... I didn't do that. I didn't do that. I don't know about you. Yeah, no. You did that? No. When I walk out, when I not is and it's not that. When I'm walking out, I'm walking all the way the fuck out. You like, know what I mean? The relationship over? Yeah. yeah. That ain't what I was talking about. That's what I was talking about. I walk out to breathe. So that's how emotional I am. See, like, I walk out to breathe. Like me. No, I cut I ain't had to cut many people. I only been in two relationships. Two committed relationships. I'm thirty nine. God damn, man. Listen, you have to understand, you know about my home and shit. Yeah, you know, man, we talked about it, yeah. Let me tell you the gift and the curse in that. Fellas, listen. It's always cool in the beginning when you got all the fine girls. You can get any girl. It's, it's hard to choose somebody after that when everybody says yes, right? I never had an issue in the female category, getting a female uh doing whatever with a female whether it's dating or having sex i've never encountered a, a a a time in my life where i had to search or it was hard for me to get a female whether i knew or had never met her in my life i never had that issue so i don't know how guys like that feel but when i tell you it's a gift and a curse here's the curse talk to me after you've cheated with the girls that were with men so much and watch the sneaky shit they're capable right. of. Right. <laughs> it's like shooting somebody. That blood stay with you. Right. You've seen the women do so many sneaky things. Just to be with you. That now you're paranoid when a good girl comes along and you like, who over there? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Who over there? Because you used to be the person that was over there. Bruh. I feel that, man, because back in my high school days, I was dealing with a lot of soldiers' wives. Mm. And I just knew that that's going to happen to me one day. You know what I mean? Some little young high school kids going to come up out of my house Facts. on some dumb shit. You know what I mean? Could. Yeah, man. So it plays a part. It and do. I tell people all the time, some guys champion me. Bro, you had all the fine girls back in the day. And you know what I tell them? I should have married one of them and stayed and committed. That's what I tell the young fellas. You know why? Because I don't want them to feel like I feel. I'm out here with trust issues you wouldn't believe over nothing. Over nothing. Some girls 
really ain't up to nothing but taking care of them two kids that the daddy ain't in the home. Yeah. And they want to see if I'm going to court them and treat them right. Some girls really all about that. And I can't see nothing but the the last 40 chicks I may have well, met. Well, damn, Jay, the thing is, you acknowledge that. And this is the pain I tell you about. Yeah, I'm we, saying you acknowledge inter- it. We compartmentalize all this shit. I'm airing this out because this is the part that men don't tell women. Yeah, shit. This is the part men don't tell. Where they just see us being quiet or not dealing with them on the regular. Or when they ask, this is the stuff. I'm saying the stuff we think and go through right now. These are the issues that come with being a player. Right. Being out here in these streets. The things that pain me the most is that I hate being broken behind the one time I act or two times I tried to actually love and it didn't work out. It wasn't supposed to work out. I wasn't groomed to love. Hmm. I was groomed to play. So I got played. You can't play the game and expect to win every game. So do you feel like that you have came up with a way to communicate your hurt absolutely i'm so transparent they run off on the second day (laughs) you can't give them the hurt on the second day god damn my mama told me that too (laughs) 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 my mama told me cut the shit (laughs) stop telling them girls everything they can't handle your entire life on the second second day? day bro i'm so committed to living my truth that it just comes like that. So where's your first? They on. ask questions they don't want the answer to all the time. So let me ask you and a I question. Give it to them. Where's your first date at? Where do you normally take people at your first date? To a nice restaurant. Something a nice ain't trashy, you know. Okay. I hit a. Uh, I done took a first date to Ruth Chris. I've never been to Ruth Chris. Me and you gonna go. I'm not about just to be so, your date, dog. No, not a date. <laughs> on some experience. I've never been. On some experience. Shit. I heard it was good. On some experience shit, I'm going to take you to Ruth Chris yeah. so you know exactly what woman you want to take to Ruth Chris because I wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared. It was prepared. like that over there? I had the money. That wasn't an issue. She didn't deserve to be there. <laughs> you see my see my point? Yeah. The woman I took didn't deserve to be there. That's why I want to take you as a homeboy, as a brother, I take you there and let you get a feel for the environment because you can't just wear no jeans and t-shirt in there you can't no no sir you get turned around you valet parking when you pull mm, up okay you valet parking when you pull so, up so so your so your first date could be at roof chris right so your second date when you're giving up all your information where's here's that what there? i also got to say about first dates fellas i fucked up there's levels to relationships and i didn't apply them okay Here's where the pain comes in and ties into this. I was so hard up about fixing the pain from my last relationship. I was in a hurry to get back into a good situation. Yep. And I didn't voice that. I didn't tell her none of my pain. I didn't tell her I had trust issues. I didn't tell her I had been done wrong. I didn't tell her the wrong I committed in the relationship because it went both ways. Let me not sit up here and act like um, it was a victimless crime. I committed crimes in that relationship. And I ain't talking about cheating either. Verbal abuse, neglect. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I had a couple of deaths in the family back to back. But that never, ever should have been me lashing out on sure. her. Now, she did try to push a little bit and make me talk. She didn't want to let me grieve. You know what I'm saying? But where... I fucked up moving forward was not being transparent about not being ready, right? So I took her on this extravagant date trying to hurry up and get into something because she was so fine. You hear me when I say fine? (laughs) She was Juanita fine. If y'all don't know Juanita, I don't care about it. She was Juanita fine, right? Yeah. So you know Juanita. Oh, yeah. If y'all don't know her, that's your business. Yeah. One that either. that is fine. She wasn't that fine though. She was two levels down. One nigga is definitely got about two, three notches on her. I almost said a name, but I won't even do it. It don't matter. <laughs> I can say one need a name because she know I know she fine and I don't care who see her. Go look her up on Facebook. She fine and you can't tell me no different. 
I'm going to hurry up and get to these comments in a second. But my point is, I didn't, my communication was terrible. Terrible. So that girl thought I was ready, uh -huh. committed, and I failed. Yet another failed relationship. And the self-accountability, I'm the type of self-accountability I'm having right now is something I couldn't have did three years ago. I would have never admitted to any of this three years ago. What make what's, what's the change? The change was I matured and realized I'm never gonna get anywhere with a closed mind. Right. I had to accept advice. I had to accept criticism. I had to accept the pain I was in, and look in the mirror and say, "What don't you like about you?" Hmm. Damn. Okay. That was the most important part. Is what I didn't like about me. It's something somebody else can never love. Did you address it with Adjust yourself? It. That's the only way I'm able to talk about it today. Right. Is that I said, hey, listen, you're not so bad. You're not that bad. You just made some mistakes. Right. At what point do you move forward? You know what I'm saying? At what point do you say you're enough for somebody to love? Hey, you know what? I'm going to tell you something, Jay. This is stuff that men don't do. And that we expect women just to do. Yeah. Because, man, yeah, that's that, a female trait. Shit, that's the first part of healing yourself, man. Because Hello. who wants to fuck with a dude that's all fucked up inside and can't even address what's wrong with them? That's why they couch the couch. <laughs> yeah. Or man. leeching off women. Right. Or living off mommy them the still. Worst motherfuckers. But. Well, I don't want to say got, that, man. But they, they got all the Jordans. Yeah. And the nice outfits and yeah. the fancy cars. I don't want to sound too judgy. I don't know why you're on your mama's couch. <laughs> And they hustling. How is that? How can you hustle for your money? Nah, I don't know. I don't know I've don't never know been in that situation. <laughs> Mr. Pink say, but real talk, when you love a woman, the pain you can feel for a woman is the worst. Tell me I'm lying. When you thought you found that rib that was taken from you and couldn't hold it, bruh, that hurts. Let, let, let me say something right quick. Because Pink, that's my best friend, right? You know what I mean? I know a lot about him. Okay. This is the first I ever seen him say anything like this. I'm so glad we can get it out you, bro. You know what I'm saying? And to me, you know what I'm saying, looking at him say that because when I when I talk about some of some of the most closed off and, and shut off people, I'm I'm gonna talk about you, Pink. It's my boy Pink. You know what I mean? He don't And then we're gonna get to y'all comments. We're not yeah. neglecting y'all. We love you. Yeah. Thank you. He he at, he's one of those guys that's like a lot of like the stereotypical man that keep everything in. For him to say that, I'm gonna have to talk to him That's after crazy. this. Man. That's yeah, big. yeah, yeah. It is big, That's man, big. because I never seen that before. Hey, I, hey, Pink, we love you, man. I appreciate the transparency. I'm gonna be transparent, so I expect all of you come back the same way. This is not a judgmental platform. This is therapeutic. You know what I'm saying? We all kicking back, we chilling, and we talking. Mr. Harris say the world we live in now. It's all about the fast microwave quick fix. No time to let the boiling point of life simmer. You know what? Instant gratification is a, it's a real thing nowadays. It's a real thing and it's a, it can be a positive thing and it can be a hurtful thing. It depends on how mature you are about the situation. Right. What I encourage is every one of you get to know you more than the other person because the more you know you the more you can be honest with the other person miss brandy says oh then that's not leaving somebody if you just going to the porch when i walk out i go to my mama house or for a drive you know what miss brandy if you just if my lady just go on a drive baby girl go on your drive talk when we get back i trust you I trust you because the one thing I did was accept you into my home, accept you into a relationship. I trust you to go on a drive. Disappearing to the bar all night to close 2.30 in the morning, that leaves room for her to question you or him to question you. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't do that. But I was in plain sight sitting on the porch with my Apple Music playing on my phone just cooling down. So I'm not disappearing for a reason, though. Because I don't want her to get on the phone and let one of them negative Nancys that she best friends with say, fuck that nigga. They right. love saying that. They love it. I don't know why women empower themselves with fuck that nigga when they themselves 
is with a have fuck a man, man. <laughs> yeah. and won't leave him. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Garrett says, but she still felt it, regardless of what passion you was in. That's a fact. Hey, Miss Sims. Hello, Quay. Uh, Big say kids make it hard as well. Hello. Kids don't make nothing hard. You either deal with and manage your time well, or you move out of the way. Responsibility calls for a responsible person. Yeah, I think kids, what he mean by kids make it hard is that now kids are involved in y'all. Because so, ah. you can't cut, like if you, you fucking with somebody you don't like to fuck with, you can cut them off. Mm-hmm. You mess around and have a kid with somebody. Mm. The situation can complicate the things, but the actual child... Right. Right. It's never the problem. No, the, the kid's adults, not the problem. The adults. Now we definitely got to deal with each yeah. other. You know what I mean? The adults, what they're doing is forcing you to deal with the actual issue. We hear dad. Yeah. We hear mom. Are y'all going to talk and fix this? Or are y'all going to ruin our lives too? Right. All they do is force you to be responsible. And that's what it is. We don't like that. So I encourage every one of you. Now, I don't care who your baby daddy or baby mama is or ex-wife or ex-husband is. Hey, listen. For the children, they need us. Face whatever you got to face. Stop running from. Stop holding the children over people's heads. Stop listening to outside influence. Mr. G, I'm going to get to it. Mr. Q, what's happening, family? He say we fear that our girl going to meet a version of us. Because we start thinking about what we did. Talking about our kids. Absolutely not. Is he talking about our kids? He's referring to when uh, he's referring to when I said uh, we don't want. Basically, what he's saying is we start thinking. Now, yeah, my insecurity. I'm tracking now. Me. The girl that I'm, I'm with currently, forward. yeah, I'm the girl I'm currently with. You working through that? Yeah, because Listen, we start thinking about what we did. So now the girl that I'm with, it's not even probably on, on some bullshit as well. I get yeah. it. Who you say, no, Mr. Baby. Derek? Who loved who? Hey, who loved who? Miss Brandy, we are gonna come back to Mr. Derek. Who loved who? Uh, Miss Brandy say the dude I should have married. Don't have any teeth right now. So I'm kind of glad that didn't work. Why should you have married him then? God damn. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, what, what, why do you mean you should have married here's him? Here's the thing. Maybe he'll still have teeth if you had married right. him. Right. And been a better influence on his life. Maybe he would have lived and been at the dentist a lot more <laughs> fucking with you. So don't say that, baby girl. Maybe because you're not in the equation. Now both of y'all fucked things up. Things went wrong. However, she says, however... Probably could have helped him save his teeth. You damn right. <laughs> right. You damn right. That's what we were saying. I know Pink talking about that's his first date. Pink say that was your first date, Tippers? Tippers. That, that's where he's taking his first date to. To Tippers? I ain't mad at you. Let me tell you something about a date. I don't think money, place, or or people matter. Even the food. I don't think any of that matters to a woman first date. I think what matters the most is making her comfortable, keeping her gainfully employed mentally, and also giving her something to want to come back to you for. Mm -hmm. Leaving her with a kind impression that you are the person she can spend time with. She don't give a damn if she in the middle of a bowling alley she never been in. If you made her feel like she was the world for that moment, I believe she'll be back. And go anywhere. I've learned over the years that women will travel to the ends of the earth with you. You damn right they would. From the hood to the island of whatever. You find a good woman, man, you got to hold on to that. With you. If you are a leader as a man. Mr. Evans, he definitely says men have a nothing box. Where sometimes we aren't thinking about anything at all. The woman will ask what we thinking about and the answer is nothing most women don't understand that because they are wired differently Mm. that's a fact they have a circuit and breakers where everything is interconnected you know Mm. what the facts of that makes me want to stand up and shout you think so sometimes we really ain't thinking about nothing 
Because look at when we play the game. Sure. I don't play games. I don't play video games. But guys that play video games really don't be doing So it. So in this instance, I must be a woman because I, 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 I ask my woman, what you thinking about? And they tell me nothing. I say, it's impossible to think about nothing. No, it's not. You're, see, but in my mind, in my mind, because I'm always thinking about something. And it could be something small. It could be something little. It could be something like, man, I, I needed some more to drink. You know, I'm constantly, I'm constantly thinking. I'm constantly thinking about where I'm going. I am. Something. So I'm thinking about something. I might not be thinking about something that but pertains you know to what you asked me about. Let me about. tell you the moment it stops. What's up? As soon as I put my music on and I get in the shower, I'm not even thinking about the song no more. I'm watching my body and my mind is completely burnt. I've absolutely committed to not thinking about anything because I've been thinking so much. Yeah. My mind goes 10 million miles per hour 23 hours a day until I get that shower. That shower, I always commit to the shower for nothing. Okay. I used to argue with my ex again about the fact that she want to sit on the toilet and talk. Oh, yeah. When that's my <laughs> me time. Yeah. Baby, I'll talk to you about whatever you want to talk about. Let me get these little 40 minutes or 30 or whatever the shower calls for mm -hmm. that evening. You know what I'm saying? Just let me get this time to not think about nothing. And that's on purpose because I have PTSD, right? That's a real thing. Some people don't even understand how far it can go and how mild it can be also. Right. It can be controlled or uncontrollable. You know what I'm saying? I don't need medication for it because I found You found my your outlets. stuff, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So... In saying all of that, it's a such thing as not thinking about nothing. Mr. LeVar. My boy you know, LeVar, man. Mr. Flint, what's happening? What's up, boy? Welcome. Hey, he said that's why. He said that's why I'm staying single. I don't want to put my hurt or pain on the next. That's not fair, and I'm definitely guilty of that. Let me tell you something, Mr. Flint. And then I'm going to let Skip speak to you because I'm sure he got more input. But in short, bro. You got to speak life into your situation. You're right. not as hurt and as pained as you believe. There is a woman. We don't give women credit enough to be able to handle our pain. We don't give them enough credit to be able to bear our truth. What I say to you is, yes, healing is important. Absolutely. Heal. But you will never forget the pain you went through. So don't confuse the pain you went through with current hurt if you ain't hurting no more and that pain ain't every corner you turn you're just remembering it it, it doesn't hurt no more if that song come on and you don't feel nothing about it no more with your ex guess what you're not actively hurt what you're doing is carrying the pain and making an excuse now there's somebody out there that can bear your truth what you got for him, Skip? So when we talk about hurt and pain, LeVar, bro, one thing, one thing that we know is there's something that you learn from. Everybody, ain't nobody going to go through this life not feeling any kind of hurt or pain. But just because we go through hurt and pain doesn't mean that we're not worthy of somebody. Mm. Learn from this shit, you know what I'm saying? Learn what hurts you and find out you, you know what I'm saying? Find out, okay, this is the things that hurt me. This is the things that cause me pain. I know this, and when I talk to the next person, I'm communicate that. Hello. And move forward, bro. You know what I mean? Because, man, I, I know you as a good man, bro. You know what I mean? I haven't seen you in a while, you know, but you, you, I know you as a good man. Don't cheat yourself out of happiness just because you're holding on to old hurt and pain. I know that's right. If it's old, hey, you can't tell nobody about Kenwood memories in the field current, can you? Shit, we 20 plus years past that. Get you a new championship with a good woman, man. Get you a new championship with a good woman. You right. deserve that partnership. You absolutely do. Man, don't let the eyes go to waste, man. I mean. I'm trying to yeah. tell you. Don't let that light skin <laughs> yeah, go to waste. And he's still skinny and shit with abs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, don't let it go to go to waste, LeVar. He still got abs and shit. <laughs> what are they doing that at? At 40. With abs and shit. Hey, look, Mr. Pink say, when I say kids, I mean kids you didn't father, but you raised. Oh, shit. When I say you didn't father, 
but you raise, you know what? Them still your, your kids. kids. I don't see the difference. But I take, I know a, the a biological term. I know what society says and yeah. I know what anatomy does. But the difference I'm is also. i the love, oh, they can be taken from you. They can be taken from you. And you, got, you can't say shit about it. And you can't do nothing about it. Right. Yeah, absolutely. That's a pain that I can't, I can't account for. I've never been through that. I'm yeah. sure it's hurtful. Yeah, because I'm I'm kicking her and the kids to the curb. Yeah, but <laughs> I'm just playing. Man. I don't I don't good. think I could do that, Mr. Harris. Say, Jay, for you to be real upfront with your insecurities and some real shit, we all need to look in the mirror and take a second and look at ourselves. First place of healing. That's where the healing starts. Absolutely, with look self. Look at Hey, Mr. Core, the Queen, dark chocolate, tall and sexy. Hello to you. You see her modeling Skip stuff, man? On you. Did I? The modeling is on You point. see the stuff she be doing, man? Yeah, yeah. She ain't playing with her. No. Samantha say one of my exes yeah, we, we, we go would get exes. mad at whatever outside of the house. When he get home, I could tell something was wrong. I ask him what's wrong, but he say he don't want to talk about it. He have an attitude and try to take it out on me. He opened up and tell me what happened. Let me tell you hey, something. He might just wanted that all to, in the beginning. Let me tell you something. The fact that you let him get it, collect himself, calm down, you are a queen on all aspects. You were able to recognize that the situ you, you saw the situation, you gave him his space, and then you understood the comfort was in between your legs. And we call that home. The fellas call that home. That's us. That's why we get so mad if you give it to somebody else. You know what I'm saying? That's home to us. Yeah. We don't give a fuck about that house and the three or four bedrooms in it or the man cave. None of that. We want our lady in but, that house. But check, fellas, on the flip side of that, if you got a woman that's willing to give it up like that, mm. don't take it out on her and the kids when you're having a bad day. Please. You know what I'm saying? It, we, we Your both. bad day need to stay in the car or in the room when you close right. the door and address it with your lady and say, baby, guess what happened? You ain't going to believe this shit. Yeah, because those are the people that's going to be there for you when everything is, well, you hope is going to be there for you when everything is Facts. over with. Facts. But if those are the people that you are taking it out on, you know what I'm saying? You Don't be surprised when you look around and there's nobody there. Hello. You know what I mean? Hello. Hey, listen, Miss Drea. Hello, Miss O'Neill. What's up, girl? What's happening? How you doing? That's a good woman, she say. Good woman here. We see you standing up. I see your hand. You never going unnoticed. Mr. Evans say, I have personally chose to speak positivity into my life. Even right. on the days I am not feeling it. My life has changed for the better once I started speaking on things that I want. He talking to Not LeVar. the things yeah. I don't want. Hello, Mr. LeVar. I hope you got that message. That was a good one. Miss Giovanna, hello, Queen. How much of a man's pain are we supposed to bear? I feel like a whole unlicensed therapist. How you think your man feel? Baby, we feel the same way. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause and I'm not even going to say that you're wrong for asking that question. That's a very legitimate question, and it's also a case-by-case -case basis. I would not sit here and tell you this is where you should stop or don't accept this. You know what you can take. Right. You can look in the mirror and say, you know what? That's my line. Always draw your line in the sand, even with somebody you love. Even our parents pissed us off when we understood what we wasn't going to take before. We love them anyway. Sometimes you just got to love people from a distance. Baby, don't shortchange yourself. If that man is not furthering your relationship, the minute your relationship is no longer moving forward even after all attempts after you've exhausted every avenue then you know he's no longer interested in the future your choice though but, case by case basis go ahead skip but also javon i understand this for the man to open up his pain to you is a trust you know what i'm saying that he has in you that you know what i'm saying that most people are not afforded you know what i'm saying so if you feel like you can't bear a man's pain 
right? If they feel like that's not your role, you know what I mean? You got to let them know right then and there, like, look, hey, you know, when it comes to relationship, there's give and take. I know, that's right. You know what I'm saying? So when you talk about how much am I supposed to, to bear, as much as it takes, and the same way that you're taking his pain, he should be able to take yours. Because if you don't, or if you won't, what you will have is a, a relationship that's full with no communication. You Zero. know what I'm saying? People keep their shit to themselves. You know what I'm saying? And then one day it's going to explode. And, and hopefully not in the wrong way. You know what I mean? So that, that's my answer to your question. How much are you supposed to, to bear? As much as you can handle. And if you can't no more, understand what your role is in that man's life and move on. Hello. If you can address what your role is... And y'all can honestly, you can completely be open and honest. Let me tell you something about this word, the, this phrase, completely open and honest. Nobody wants every truth. You can't handle it. I don't want your truth if you're going to talk bad about my karaoke skills. Let me tell you something. <laughs> None of y'all, and I don't care what woman stands up and say you're a lie, Jermaine. None of y'all women and men can accept the entire truth be honest with yourself about the questions you ask and the things you want to know because if you meet a guy that says i beat the shit out of my last three girls i've been to therapy i've been through rehab i fixed myself it's been six years since i put my hands on anybody and i don't want to live a life like that the only thing that's stuck in your mind is i beat the shit out of the last three girls i'm with right not every girl is going to accept that man for his harsh truth. Some things you don't want the answer to, and that's the truth of the matter. We all say we want the whole truth. We want you to be loyal. We want you to be honest. Listen, there's always a line. Humans lie. Humans protect other humans that they love from things. Some truth is not for today. Some truth is for January 2021 when you're ready for it or when they are ready so for let it. me ask you a question talk to me so you said that somebody that beat the shit out of his last and it, it was a while ago could be so much pain for him right you know what i'm saying but let's flip that for a second my man tank said if you suck a couple of dicks you know what i'm saying Ooh. it doesn't automatically mean you gay Ooh, shit. so what, what if That's he sucked? homosexual well, i'm just saying so he said he said he sucked a few dicks six seven years ago mm -hmm. should he expose that to the woman absolutely that's the truth so, you gotta tell fam so is beating the woman's ass i mean so is beating the woman's ass but i said timing is everything. right you know what i'm saying i it's said like, they're not always ready for questions they absolutely ask. not you know what i mean what but I, said. I didn't say he don't you he don't owe you the truth don't okay. get me confused let's go yeah people don't get me confused i didn't say they don't owe you their truth what i said is be careful about the timing of what you're asking. Did you watch Love is Blind on Netflix? I have not. I have not. It, that happened on Netflix. Really? Yeah, where they were supposed to just, that they never met each other until they said they was going to get married. Right? Ooh, ooh. They was talking behind a wall or some shit. And then one I, dude, yeah, one dude was like, hey, I didn't tell you this. After they got engaged, but mm. I, I'm, I'm, I'm bisexual. Oh, no, hell no. You see what I'm saying? So it's like... No, 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 no. Okay, so Mr. Pink say, depends on how much you can deal with the man. Can you see the future? I always say it. Pay attention to your goals, who you are, and move forward. Mr. Vonda, that was a good word. Mr. Derek say, at this point, I just want a woman with a medicine cabinet. God damn. With a, <laughs> with a medicine cabinet. Is life that hard? He that... <laughs> Desperate. Mr. Harris say a good down to earth conversation and slow head will make a bad day go away real fast for me. Just saying, hey, that's the physical fam. And I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of people think sex is very important when it comes to pain. My ex used to like to fuck through her pain. Some people like drugs. It never work. Yeah, it never worked. No. Because you're not addressing the issue. Nope. We could fuck 17 times a day for six months. But if you did not face the bottom line issue, it will resurface. You agree, Skip? Absolutely, bro. Yeah. Because that's indirect. You know what I'm saying? You're looking for instant gratification. Oh, back to the indirect?
crazy. Yeah. Yeah. We, look, we look up instant gratification for a problem that we have. You know what I mean? So when I talk about like slow, because I like slow head too. That's the best way for me. You know I what I mean? I love it. Me too. But the thing is, the thing is, when that head is over and I wake up, my problem is still there. It ain't go no motherfucking where. Okay, so, hey, welcome, Miss Tiffany. Welcome, Miss Tiffany. We talking about how men communicate pain. And right now, I want to transition into how we communicate sometimes, ladies, just in case you didn't know. Do you know that those times where y'all call us or y'all text us and say, hey, listen, we need to talk. <laughs> it feels like a yeah. threat, don't it, Skip? Because when is it not? It feel like it's it's not it, it's not always that it's just we communicate different and I'm gonna tell you why. Go ahead. I'm gonna tell you why. What's up? We often go outside our comfort zones when we have to think and feel at the same time. Okay. We don't communicate where we have to think right now in the conversation and then feel for the situation at the same time. Either we're already emotionally involved or or. We're thinking of an elaborate plan. But it never happens at the same time. But, it never does. Let but, me tell me if I'm but, wrong. But check it, man. A lot of times with, with a lot of, you know, I can't speak absolutes. You know, absolutes is, is a fucked up way of Pay thinking. Pay attention, folks. You know what I'm saying? We're but speaking our opinion. Yeah, but, but for me, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times when a woman says we need to talk, it's always about some shit I need to fix. Some shit about me, you know what I mean? That hasn't been the case for me all it's the time. It's been for me, man. It's like, God damn. It's always about you? Yeah, so... When, but are when, you doing those things she's addressing? Yes, but... Then why is it a threat? Hold on, but... Why is it but a threat? Because the things that I'm doing that she's addressing, she doesn't address why I'm doing them. A lot of You're the time... You're saying some of them is reactionary. Reactionary, you know what I mean? not. Reactionary. Not just a lot you of, initiate. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of my experience is, look... So you're listening to respond at that point. If we're saying we need to talk, then we need to talk about what we need to fix. If your thought is we need to talk and your whole thing is everything you don't like about me. Hey. And then also men, man, sometimes we need to go up to a woman and say, hey, we need, we to, need talk. to talk. But fellas aren't groomed right. to be vulnerable in right. front of women. Right. We're not. And women, please. Stop saying come talk to me if being vulnerable is something you're going to make him feel weak about. You know what I'm saying? Accept him. Miss Tiffany, hello, Queen. Welcome to the platform. Some shit got to be said up front, and them two situations are a must, she <laughs> says. Talking about getting the ass beating, sucking dick. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I know what she's talking about. Let me tell you something, Miss Tiffany. Please hit me in the comments after I ask you this question. I'm going to ask you this question. Have you ever asked a question that you absolutely did not want the answer to? Just answer me that. I'm going to ask you one more time. Have you ever asked a question that you knew you didn't want the answer to? Not the ones you felt like you had your mind made up about. I'm talking about questions that you really needed to know. The answer to, Mr. And I'm gonna move on, but I'm gonna get back to you, Miss Tiffany. Answer that question for me, Miss Pink. She say I pers. He say I personally keep no secrets. I'm always up front, Mr. Pink. You're a better man than me, cause I failed at that in the past. I'm better now, but it seems like the truth is not working for me. They run off. I'm too transparent. They run off on me, bro. They run off on me, fam. Well, this is why I'm saying women don't want the truth. Well, the thing is, they man, if you give them the truth on day two, shit. You You're know saying what it's man? too early. I know man. my mama said the same shit. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because some, some things, man, and, it, and it's, not being, it's not about not being transparent, right? Mm -hmm. It's about developing trust that somebody can understand where you're coming from. Because mm -hmm. you're not who you were. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not who I was. So... After I develop the trust, because I'm not going to tell everybody my motherfucking everything about me when I, I would meet never. Them. You know I what I mean? Never. But I only answered the question they asked, though. I'm not volunteering. Anymore. Oh, okay. Well, That's I'm, where I get into the part yeah, where yeah. how the fuck you asked me that, and then it's I would tell her that. Look, what I'm going to tell you, you know what I'm saying? He probably do this, man. You, you a lot smoother than I am. You know I ain't what I mean? smooth at all, actually. I'm going to rough around the edges. I ain't dated him. It's been damn. Almost two years now. 
Jermaine a lot smoother than I am. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, 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 but hold on. You know what I'm saying? You got to let them know, man. It's like, look. <laughs> You're not late, Miss Sheriff. Yeah. You I'm... are fashionably late, which means you look good in that all white dress you got on. It's fitting. Look I... at the curves. Do you so already know what they wear? Skip. This motherfucker here. You create a picture. Oh, okay. Because I'm sitting there like, I'm looking at red bottoms and the shit. People... You see how I painted? You see how I painted? He must have seen them earlier. (laughs) Man, bro. I thought you saw them earlier. is in here. It's a fan. What's Pink wearing? We said, Pink, oh, the suit he got on that so tailored. That nigga's not wearing a suit. Listen, I'm upset. (laughs) I'm upset that he ain't skipped your best friend and never seen you this fresh. (laughs) He in a a dapper Dan Taylor Gucci suit that's killing the whole city. Damn, Pink. I'm upset. That you're not out somewhere dancing on a rooftop in Vegas. You deserve these fashionable lights. Damn, boy. To be on your shining. So, Tiffany, I think me and, her, me and her Facebook friends, but i never seen her before. Miss Tiffany, it? yeah, you got to go check her out. That's a good person, man. That's a good person. She uh, she goes through a lot of the things we're talking about. She's been through a lot of things we're talking about. Right, right. And she's in that... I believe from what she talks about, she's in her healing process and she's doing well. I love personally. it. Love it. I think she's doing well. Hey, you Push keep put forward. you keep pushing on there. Tiffany, if I catch you in a bashing me in post, I'm gonna take all this shit back. <laughs> <laughs> I think your mind is beautiful right now, but if I catch you in a bashing me in post and you don't start believing that you're going to meet the man that you deserve, then I'm taking all this shit back. Mr. Harris says, I don't mind talking. But save it until I get off work. Women will call you or text you on your lunch break, killing your whole vibe for the day. Hey, Bruh. listen, we not here to talk about what women did. Tell me what where you? the pain comes from, bro. Tell me why her texting you bothers you so much. Tell me how that disturbs your mental Tell me how unstable it makes you and what you're forced to react by. What she did is what she did. But how did you react to it? How did you react to it? Because that's the toxic trait I'm trying to get to is what we do. Really, women do cause some shit. I know that. Bruh. I'm not oblivious. I'm, I'm, I'm here a- to talk about the pain. Tell the women why we react a certain way. I'm going to talk about the last time I went through pain, right? Okay. And I hope she's not watching because I'm gonna expose. I'm gonna expose some stuff that. What are you saying no names? That you know what I'm saying, but she's gonna know. Oh, this she's is Mr. Skip. They call him Mr. Brown, Herman Brown. What's He's going also, on, Cheryl? You can catch him on the podcast, The Lions Den, correct? Lions Den with Seth. On, you can co- say it again for him. The Lions Den with Seth. You can check him out on The Lions Den with Seth. Also, right here on Facebook. If you can't find him, we'll put him in the comments. So check it. I was with. I was with. And this is this is why I say men are more emotional, right? Mm-hmm. I was with this woman, and we was together. Everything was cool, man. You know, I can't. I can't knock. I can't knock her for anything, right? Uh-huh. We was together. I was in California. I PCS to um, Turkey. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Where I couldn't Damn, bring nobody. I to go to Turkey. I done been all over the world. But not not at, not at that time. But so I was out there doing my thing. I understand your job. Right? I'm doing, doing your job. Yeah. And also more than my job. I'm out you, there fucking oh, up. Saying you was I'm out there fucking up. Being a whole civilian while you were supposed to be in the Air Force. I was, you was living your best life. I was living my best life, right? Okay, I'm with all that. So check. I think my, my girl at the time felt the vibes. So here's what she did. From was she in the States? She was in the States. Okay. I think she felt the vibes of what I was doing. Intuition is real. Right. So check. So she went off to Puerto Rico for a vacation that I knew about. Mm-hmm. Next thing you know, I'm looking at pictures and two motherfucking dudes is in the pictures too. Why she, you upset? What? What you mean why I'm upset? So my girl is I've in never Puerto, been able to do that. She's in Puerto Rico. I've never been able to be emotionally involved when I know I'm fucking up too. Bruh. See, I can't relate. And I'm, a, I'm one of them selfish cats. You know what I mean? I get it. I'm one of hey, I'm I was one of them selfish cats that's like damn okay, you you going out to Puerto Rico now because we was to get we supposed to be together. I'm fucking up. Serious relationship. Yeah, but Committed I'm fucking up. But how I'm long fu- was y'all together at that point? We was together over a year. 
It was still fresh. Yeah, we was together over a year. First years. year is the hardest one. First two years, yeah. First two years. I say the first year because the second year yeah. is supposed to start your, you get used to it. You get comfortable. And you start saying, okay, I'm going to stop my bullshit because I know she around now. Dog, the, the way she handled, like, my inconsistencies mm -hmm. was way different from how I handled her inconsistency. Water, you know what I mean? No, you're good. From, from how she handled uh, my inconsistencies. Mm -hmm. Like, she handled my inconsistencies like, okay, that's cool. That's cool. But when her because she already had a plan to get back at you. Bro, I, I couldn't sleep at night. None of that of shit was going not. on. Of course not. Bro. We inflict pain we can't take can't constantly. Take it. Can't take it. Constantly. We inflict that thing. Let me tell you something, ladies, about our pain. Three things we feel we need to talk about when you say, I want to talk. It's only three things men actually feel like they need to talk about. And that is sex, money, or breaking up. <laughs> That's it. Those are the three things men feel like is very important to talk about. Nothing else. Why does a woman, you know, when I say why does a woman wanting to talk make us feel so threatened? Well, it's because y'all never want to talk about those three things for real. You know what I'm saying? When a woman wants to talk, it means they want to be closer, fellas. They're just trying to get closer to us. But we take it as them pushing us away. Them nagging us. We need to come become more receptive to a woman saying, I want to talk. And take it as she's trying to get to know something. She's throwing up flags. She's trying to alert us that, hey, this is wrong. She actually gives a fuck about us, fellas, when she's talking. It's when she stops talking, Skip. It's, it's a wrap. That it's a, a wrap. And that's when we start begging. <laughs> Miss Tiffany say, like when somebody cheated on you and you insist they tell you the details. Why? No, thank you. <laughs> why? I don't know why I did it, but it hurt my feelings one time. I ain't never did it again. She told me what the inches was. <laughs> damn. All the holes he punctured. <laughs> everything she swallowed. I'm never. You asked all, asked you me. wanted all, you wanted all no, that info? I asked but one question. I asked the stupidest question you could ever ask. Was he bigger than me? <laughs> Why? <laughs> and she gave me extra details to make sure she got it all in there that I all the way fucked him. I didn't just fuck him. I gave him everything. the business. I gave him everything you should have been cherishing these past three years. Damn. Yeah, yeah. So I don't ask that question no more because I don't plan to put myself in that predicament of a woman having to step out again. I'm not leaving the door cracked no more. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Now, it's always her choice to step out. We don't control the vagina. Right. What we control is our actions and what we put into the relationship. It hurts a little bit more when you're genuine. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so... From experience, men don't ever want to be viewed as weak. So vulnerable isn't an option is what we feel like, ladies. It is it, it isn't an option. You want a strong man, big hands, big feet, tall, shield you from everything, feel safe when you're with him, secure. Skip, what you got? So the narrative on Facebook, though, well, not just on Facebook, you know, like TED Talks and all these other things is it's okay for men to cry. Mm -hmm. So they say it's okay for men to cry, show, express feelings. Absolutely. But the minute you do, the minute the minute you do or you show you're weak, you know what I'm saying, a, a lot of times, a lot of men feel like they get viewed a certain way. Now, I got to be honest. You know what I'm saying? I don't, viewed a certain way? Yeah. Let's just call it what it is. Weak. Yeah, but check. But I got to be honest. Like, we don't ever want to be seen as weak. As I, a man. I, it's not like I'm a person that, that just breaks down. You remember Dwayne Rice? I do. Okay, so you remember how close me and him was? Yes. So, there's Dwayne time. Dwayne was my guy. That's a good dude. Man. Yeah, that, that was a good dude. There, there's times, you know what I'm saying, where something comes on or something happens, and I get to thinking about him. And even now, you know what I'm saying, even mm -hmm. now, all these years later, I still break down. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because out of all the people that I've known, 
he's one of them people that's like, you know, that should never happen to. A genuine relationship. So, you know what I'm saying? So that's me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm showing, like, I'm vulnerable to that. Okay. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm very vulnerable to that. Like, there's a certain song come on, something come on, and I think about my boy, and then they say, you know, I'm in a big ball of tears. You should be able to cry in front of your lady. Family. So, so check, like, I never, I never caught... Well, it might be indirect. You know what I mean? I don't know what's going on behind my back, but I never caught anything direct to where it's like, what the fuck you crying about? You've never had that? I've never had that. Except for when I was 15, we talked about it before. But other than that, that no. I'm talking about grown man adult. I've never had it. Let me tell you where the pressures of grown women not letting us be vulnerable come in at. Have you had an argument? And a woman said that's some weak ass shit or fake ass shit or anything resulting to or pointing to the fact that right you are being less than a man. I've had that, and and I'm gonna I'm be. And it's never been because I cried or showed. Yeah. Have you cried in front of a woman? Yeah, I have. And she didn't throw it in your face. No, what what they She's th- dope for that. What they what they threw in my face was some shit that I deal with was weak. Is the how I cut people off. That is weak. You know what I'm saying? How I cut people like, yo. That's you, a weak trait. And I cut you off all together. She the didn't lie to you. The leak block and all that she shit. She sound like the one. It's weak. Well, there's multiple women that tell me that. She, because you, know you said you had a habit of doing Right. You know what I'm saying? Honestly. So, but they never they never came at me raw because I, I cried. I give you a story. Go ahead. I can give you a brief story. I was crying because my grandma at the time, my grandma... If you you all listening don't know, she was like my actual mother because my parents was working two jobs a day. They didn't get to see us that much, so my grandma right. was living with us. That's who I saw all the time. That was like my mom. So when she passed away, bro, I couldn't gather myself, and I was back and forth to Iraq. She died on the phone with me. I was the last person she talked to. She had brain cancer, right? All right. So the brain cancer rendered her... She was not mobile at all. She wasn't walking, talking, nothing for three weeks. And then I called because, you know, you get that emergency. The Red Cross, back, yeah. The Red Cross message to fly back. And my mom called and said, hey, I just wanted you to talk to her before because we got to take her off this ventilator. We got to take her off this machine. I talked to her for three weeks. She hadn't spoke, walked, nothing. And she said my name. She didn't know who her own. She only had one daughter, my mom. Mm-hmm. She didn't know who she was. She kept confusing her with my sister. She said my name. And she said, I'm going to be okay, baby. You just take care of yourself. You're going to be great. And she died right then, right? And forgive me, I tear up about it. It hurts me. I was the last person to speak to her. And she said some things to me I would never forget. So when she said that, I'm thinking she's back. I'm about to fly from Kuwait, you know what I'm saying, get there. And when I got off the plane and everybody was, the mood, you can just feel she was gone. I couldn't pull myself back together, but you know what my girl at the time did? Ghosted me. (laughs) She ghosted me for my neighbor on the street. That that's day. some fucking bullshit. She was the one that was on the phone with me after my grandma died. Like, baby, I'm gonna be right here. I'm gonna be. She go. My mom was like, "That's not what you need to be thinking about right now. Don't worry about where she at." My mom trying to make me come to my. I'm like, "Where the fuck she at?" You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. Yo, that's who I thought was my rock that's still here. So in my mind, I lost the love of my life and my mom on the same day. You know what I'm saying? And you could see how that can emotionally scar somebody from ever opening up. I couldn't talk to a woman and be real with them for a long time after that, bro. I was like, I can't trust. I'm going to be candid here. I can't trust none of you bitches is what I was living. You feel what I'm saying? Fuck all y'all. That's where I was at. And it wasn't nobody's fault but mine for taking it that way. I could, yeah, it was fucked up what she did. 
but I control my actions. You know what I'm saying? Right. I was out of control. You know what I'm saying? So Miss Christy Bryce say you should definitely be able to show your emotions without judgment. Everybody has feelings. That's a natural fact. I definitely agree with you. Miss Cheryl says, I was always told not to cry growing up. Society tried to judge us and dictate what is right and wrong. Nothing wrong with a man crying. We all human with the heart. If human nature to have emotion, cry it out, baby. Fuck them if they say it's weak. You know what? Saying fuck somebody is so easy. But feeling that way is not so easy when you care about them. All right. We could tell somebody to leave somebody they love this quick, but how you feel about them has you tied in. Miss Chris say, I'm late, but excuse me, can I sit here? Absolutely, <laughs> baby, that's your seat. What's going on? You no, cooking baby. today? Definitely she cooking. <laughs> Look, baby, I always got something for the gander. Hey, Mr. Mike says, in replying to Chris, nope. Get your ass to the back corner. Hey, move around, Mike. <laughs> move around. Let little baby in here. But to, to sum up what I was saying, some pain, some pain that we possess is not a reflection of the relationship we're in. And ladies, be careful with us. We won't admit it. We will never admit it until we're in a situation we can trust. But we're fragile as well. Shit. We're fragile as well. Absolutely. It's a million men out there that's going to criticize this entire life. E imagine having to be hard and show no emotion and, and have this outer crust to everybody in the world. Then imagine that we finally be able to open up to somebody that we trust when we get back home and be able to do that, only to put that coat back on to go back out to the world again. You know what I'm saying? We need so, that. Yeah, we, we, we need somebody that we can open up to and let them know our inner thoughts and inner feelings that we know that, you know what I'm saying, she's got our back. Yeah. Because this world don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? So when uh, I go out to this world, I don't give a damn about what I'm crying about or what I care about. I've got to maintain, i got to maintain a stature or a presence. Hello. But when I get home, when I get home, I want to be the real me. I want to be me. I want to call, here's my thing, Skip, and I don't know if you're going to agree with me or not and you don't have to. But the one thing I call home, I want to call home. This is what I desire for my future, is my family. My woman, our children, or what if we have none, but my woman, most of all, my partner in life, is what I call home. I don't care about property. That's what makes a home, dog. Yeah, I don't care about property. So if I can't come home to my home, meaning my woman, what am I living for? What am I doing all this shit for? What am I fighting for if it's just me? A lot of people often ask me a hundred times, bro, you still single? All the hoes you got? They're under the impression I got hoes. Right. When really I just have female friends that I treat with a whole lot of respect and they can vouch for that. You know what I'm saying? I crack a lot of jokes. People know I laugh. I've been that way since when, Skip? Like, Forever. I came here like this. You know what I'm saying? I came here this way. But in closing, I want you ladies to remember one thing and I want you fellas to understand something. Allow us to be vulnerable without judgment and keep our secrets. Man. Men will keep your secrets, lady. I know men out here running their mouth. I know men out here telling everything about you, but those are not men. I'm talking all caps men. They'll keep your secrets. Keep our secrets, ladies. And the loyalty will increase. I guarantee it. That one person you're looking for is not out of reach. It's just about what you see in the mirror. Once you see it in the mirror, everybody around you has no choice but to follow suit. Love yourselves. I love you. Skip love you. And we just want to tell y'all have a good night. Mr. Pink has a closing uh, comment. He says nobody can ever tell another person how to experience pain, man or woman. We have to respect that. That's a fact. The respect factor is not given often these days. Skip, you got something you want to close with? So I want to close with first, thank you, Jermaine, for having me on, man. Man, um, I appreciate you being here. You 100%. know, it's great. You know what I'm saying? It's also great talking with people in my hometown. 
I mean, I love Clarksville like no other. You know what I mean? So oui. when when it when it comes to men expressing their pain, you gotta understand what it meant for him to get to that point to where he felt like he was safe enough to open up. Because when a man expresses pain, man, we get judged on every corner. You know what I'm saying? We get judged. The last thing we want to get told is that we're weak. So now I got to bust somebody up just to prove that I'm not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because the minute that I lose, I lose the persona that I'm not a weak man, that's the minute that I can't protect you. And that's or, the minute you won't be attracted. Right. And, and, and that's the minute I feel like I'm not a man. So when, when Jay just talked about, you know what I'm saying, keeping our secrets and stuff like that, we're trusting you. You know what I'm saying? We're trusting you. Like, look, this is me. I'm opening up. And when you find that man that is not open up to you and he's not expressing himself to you, understand that somebody's done him wrong before. And it's going to take some time, but it doesn't mean he's a bad man. It goes both ways, fellas. You meet a woman. She won't readily open up. Give her time. Give her time. It's a fragile situation. But also assess the situation with a calm and a clear and open mind some people are trying to finesse i get right. that some people are trying to finesse but you'll see through that they can only pretend for so long they can only pretend for so long so here's cheers to y'all thank you for being here we love y'all we're gonna do this again we're closing out we love y'all be safe be kind to each other it's still gonna record for a minute, but...